is Anthony Arroyo from AbletonCoastBuff.com. And right now I'm going to show you how to put a dry wet um, control on either a, an instrument rack. I guess it wouldn't work so much in an instrument rack, but definitely in a, an audio effects rack. Um, so I'm going to show you using uh, this audio filter as an example, but you really could do this with any kind of uh, any kind of rack effect. So don't think that it's just uh, confined to this audio filter. So right now I'll just turn this off so you can hear what we have. I have two loop uh, string loops right here. Um, both of them are from Loop Masters. And let me just go ahead and just play these for you real quick. Turn off the drum. And then here's the, the audio filter effect I have. And you can see what I've done is I've uh, synced the audio, the auto filter rather, to a uh, to the LFO here. So the rate's uh, three eighth notes, and the amount is about 15 right here. Um, so it gives it some movement. This is a use, useful effect if you're trying to basically just add a little bit of variation to something, but you don't want to uh, do an entirely new new part of the song. Uh, it's really good to maybe add a little audio fil auto filter rather with the LFO going to just just add a little bit of variation but not too much. So to make the wet dry, the first thing we're going to do is because right now it's basically on or off because you'll notice that this auto filter has no has no wet dry knob. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the auto filter. I'm going to press Command G, and the Command G will put it into a rack. And so then I'm going to press this chain selector right here. And then, so as you can see, I have one chain with the auto filter. And I'm going to rename this chain uh, wet. That makes sense. And then I'm going to control, click, create chain. I'm going to make this one dry. And you can see dry has nothing. Wet has a filter in it. And if you were to play this together, it might lower it a little bit. So you can see if I mute, uh, if I solo the wet, I just get the wet effect or the affected signal. And if I solo the dry, I get nothing. Or rather, I get the unaffected signal. But what if I want somewhere in between? So that's where um, where the, the wet dry effect comes in. So what we're gonna do is we're going to press chain. This is going to open up this chain selector right here. And what this does is basically um, it allows you to select how much of or which which of these chains the the signal is going into. And so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to and and the way that it's it's the interface here is kind of confusing. But the way that we do it is we have to make this chain or this part of the selector longer because only the part with the blue is active actually. So the, we can go back here, and the way a really easy way to do it is you press Shift and you select both of them. That way, any if any change you make on one is automatically affected the other. So now we're all the way over here, and then this is something that is really kind of was took me a little while to figure out. Is this looks like one thing, but it's actually two. So this is a light blue bar on top, and what we're going to do is we're going to basically you're going to want to unselect both of them. You just want to do this with the wet one right now. You're going to drag this bar to about halfway to about 64. And then we're going to do the opposite with this one. And what that basically means is that when this chain selector, this little orange thing, is over here, it's totally going to be dry. And when it's right here, it's going to be 50 50. And when right here, it's going to be totally wet. You can see by the way the, the blue, the blue um, bar is when it's, it's actually active in that chain. So let's go ahead and listen to how that sounds. So now it's totally wet. Now that I put it over here, it's going to allow more of the dry signal in until all the way over here. It's totally dry. And um, this is, I mean, even though you might not be messing with this while you're performing, it is good if you're trying to basically, because sometimes I don't ever really want it to be all the way over here, because that sounds kind of ridiculous, I think. But you do want a little bit of variation, and now you can hear some of the dry signals coming through. But 
you can take this one step farther by making a macro over here. And we're going to assign this chain selector to this macro. So we'll go ahead and first enter macro mode, pressing this button. I'm going to press matte mode. And see now this is lit up green. You can just select this top bar and then press map right here. And now we have chain selector, which we'll exit map mode. We can actually just rename this wet dry. And that's exactly what it is now. So go ahead. We can go ahead and chain close this chains and all this stuff. And now we just have let's say filter rack here. See that? So that's how we quickly add a wet dry effect to any instrument rack. So this time we use a filter, but we don't have to use a filter necessarily. We can have all kinds of stuff going on. So anyway, I hope that was helpful. Um, and if you have any questions about this, go ahead and leave a comment at the AbletonCookbook.com. I hope that I can get an answer for you. Okay, have a good day.